What's up, guys? Dinah D here at Laid Laws Harley Davidson with the famous Pork Dizzle. You want to show me your sick bike? Sure. This is my 2014 Street Glide. Uh, sent it off a cliff in October of 2020. Converted it to Rogue Glide and basically built it from the ground up. It's powered by an SNS 124, a stock transmission, but I need something to break because everything else on the bike is built. So the paint job is all house of color, uh, true white. It's considered cocaine white. It does have cocaine in it. It's got murals underneath the candy apple red. It's the nine circles of hell, according to Dante's Inferno. Every panel is a different level of hell, according to true scripture. Just kind of my own thing. Uh, starting from the front end, uh, we've got the Clockworks clear windshield with the Clockworks uh, trim. Shout out Brian Clock, amazing man. Has an Arlen Ness Pro Shorty front fender, Kraus bar and clamp setup. Top trees and bottom trees are both Kraus. Lowers are alloy art with Pro 1 black plus two tubes. Legend suspension. All the speakers are all diamond audio. I've got six and a halfs in the front with tweeters mounted above. The rears are diamond audio six by nines with tweeters mounted above. We've got Santoro Fabworks crash bars and shift linkage. Mikey Santoro is actually an amazing man also. Uh, check out his products. Arlen Ness mirrors. Arlen Ness here and there. Uh, ride faster pussy covers. Everything's been powder coated. The bike came completely chromed out. Now it's completely blacked out. 21 inch enforcer replica wheel, 18 inch enforcer wheel in the rear. It has a LaPera custom seat. It's custom from the front to the back. Christine LaPera uh, took care of me really well on that. I appreciate it. Uh, Legend suspension arc revos in the rear. I mean, it's basically got everything you can think of. It's got an ARP bolt holding everything on that they make an ARP bolt for, including under the outer fairing. Uh, so if you take my bike apart, you better have 12 point sockets because that's all there is. There's no Allen heads on it. I ride the hell out of it. I ride across country, do wheelies from every stoplight. It breaks, I fix it. I've been known to change staters in hotel parking lots with AutoZone tools. I do what I gotta do, I just keep ripping. Uh, it's beautiful, dude. Thank you, yeah, appreciate it. Alright guys, so we got another pretty awesome bike out here. I'm here with Antonio. He's gonna take us through his performance bagger here and you know show us what he's got, talk about his paint, talk about all the parts and everything. This is definitely one of the better bikes that's here right now, so I wanted him to you know kind of walk us through and he's gonna take a minute and tell us what's up. Hey, how's it going? My name is Antonio. I'm pretty stoked to be here and have this bike right now. To say the biggest draw of this bike is its paint. So it was modeled more or less towards the 70s lowrider like paneled out era. So it had to be California. We had Pete Finland from Hot Dog Customs right here. And um, he did this the honor of painting this bike. I have everything from MJK, who's Dale Yamada in Canada. And it goes from front to back. This is a, a real like performance bagger. I have two engines for this. I'm running a 124 right now, but I have a 131 for it. And this was supposed to compete before the borders got closed and the bike wasn't able to make it to the track on time. But yeah, I got everything here that I feel that is uh, is a good representation of a bagger with, uh, with the Harley not being lost and tradition to SoCal. The two-piece all aluminum swing arm on this thing is, is mad. Front O-Lens with reservoirs and it's uh, floating rotors, titanium you know buttons. So yeah, two-piece wheels. Take the time, look through it. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Matt, for the invitation. Thanks, Antonio. Thanks for coming out, man. This thing is awesome. Next 
up, let's do People's Choice Award here. Again, this one was voted on by everybody here, all the contestants and people that were just here enjoying the show. They filled out the form over there on what bike they felt like was the best, and we just picked the one that got the most votes. So for People's Choice, this one goes out to Porky. Man. Pork he has a road glide over there. Actually, it's a street glide that he converted to a road glide, right? Is that right, Porky? All right, man. So here's your trophy. Make sure you put it in your saddlebag. Don't let it fall out. Alright guys, so we're here, we got about two hours into the bagger show here, we got a lot of bikes out here, probably more than we expected actually, so I wanted to highlight one more bagger here, we got Ryan, and he's got a CVO, the Mako Shark, and he's done a lot of really cool stuff to it, so we're going to have him give us a walk around on his Mako Shark CVO Road Glide right now. Yeah, uh, Ryan, uh, here with my 2019 CVO Mako Shark, to go over a couple of the things I've done to the bike, starting with the uh, suspension. I have all Legends Performance suspension, both front and rear. Brake setup, I'm running gaffer rotors with Behringer levers and calipers. We've done tons of carbon on here, blue carbon from uh, Hoffman Designs. Uh, he's been great to work with. From a bar setup, running Kraus, uh, Kraus risers, Kraus bar setup. Uh, motor wise, we've done an SNS big bore setup on here with SPB Fab exhaust, Thundermax ECU, the SNS big bore cam in here. We have flow performance pegs on here as well, and a ton of other stuff. Uh, we've, we've replaced the top risers to Sly Fox risers on here, and uh, can't forget some of the, the blue coating that we've done through Diamond Lane Cycles. He's been phenomenal to work with as well. We shortened the bags on here to the shorter bags. Uh, the typical Mako Shark comes with extended bags. We shorten up the bags, and we have some more stuff coming soon. This was voted on by the women here in our dealership. So that one is going to go out to April on the El Diablo over there. Round of applause. So two hundred dollar gift card and the official Throttle Slave Show ladies bike as well. We want to do ladies bike because it is Mother's Day weekend. So make sure you treat that that mother in your life. Best of Show, again, was just one that we collectively as a shop with the guys here in parts and sales, I had a conversation with and we picked the bike that we feel like met the genre and the criteria of being a core performance bagger. So this one goes out to Antonio over here, my man. Congratulations, man. Awesome bike. I believe you were number two, right? Yeah, number two over there. Awesome paint, awesome parts, uh, the epitome of a performance bagger. Congrats, my friend.
Thanks all for watching, guys, and thank you to everyone that joined us live in person at our Throttle Slave show number four. We're going to be doing more of these shows in the future, so make sure you follow along on our social media channels and check out our website calendar for future show dates. Let me know in the comment section below what type of category would you like to see next. The category that gets voted on the most is the show that we will do next. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and always, if you're looking for a new or used Harley Davidson in Southern California, make sure you hit us up here at Laidlaw's Harley Davidson. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later.